Welcome back to the Whatnots Reactor Core number 52. My name is Kyle Springer and I am joined by Melissa Wilkinson. Melissa, are you excited to talk about the penultimate episode I, of Marvel's What If? Yes. Kyle, I'm not, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't excited. Yes. <laughs> well, obviously. Excited. Hit, I mean, maybe you didn't 52. like it. We've hit We've hit a whole deck of cards worth of episodes now, Kyle. We sure did. Yeah. Yeah, we just got done doing our reactions to Star Wars Visions. Uh, me and Ignacio yeah. did that That's in a three-part so series. Big. I haven't been yeah. here for those. I'm like, when did we get to 52? I was just here <laughs> last week. We were at 49. This was supposed to be 50. What are you doing, Kyle? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we we did our reactions to Star Wars Visions. You guys can go check that out here on YouTube or uh, as a podcast on all podcast services. But tonight, it's Marvel Night. It is uh -huh. Marvel's What If. Uh, number eight is the one we're at. Yes. The, penultimate, the penultimate episode. I'm excited for this one. This one, Melissa, got me hype. This one was good. Yeah. I liked this one a this lot. A game I, I am stoked. Game changer yeah. indeed. Indeed. What were your spoiler free kind of general thoughts at at first here? Well, the initial question of this episode is what if Ultron won? We truly are in the age of Ultron and not just like yeah. in the four days of Ultron, however much time that occupied in the movie. The weekend of Ultron. Yeah, <laughs> weekend at Ultrons. <laughs> so, like, uh, instead of Vision being Vision, he's, you know, it's Ultron's soul inside a Vision body. And then he goes around and he collects all the Infinity Stones and he's the most powerful being in the known universe. Yeah. In all universes. Any. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he gets the Infinity Stones and that was, like, we, we knew Ultron or ultra vision i don't know i think is yeah, what kind of the in internet has been calling him yeah but he's ultron um he he gets the infinity stones and that's been the big like speculation thing for this past week of like how did he get the soul stone like who did he have to sacrifice to like who who does ultra who does ultron love right that he <laughs> has to <laughs> yeah Gave up to do all of that. And we find out here that's not how he got the stone at all. Thanos shows up. He already has all of the stones except the mind stone. Yeah, can you get out of his head? Yeah, th Thanos just gets chopped in half uh, immediately by Vision's <laughs> like mind laser. I just love like, it. Sorry. Uh, you don't get to exist here. This is my world. And so, yeah, he <laughs> takes this, this, the stones and uh, has, has them all there. And then, yeah, he destroys the world. He destroys the known universe. And then he's a sad robot. He's so lonely. <laughs> yeah. Melissa, he's so sad. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll go read him a story uh, and give him a granola bar and see if he feels oh, he better. He'd like that. I'm sure he'd like You're that. Right. And then he'd kill you. <laughs> and then his, I'll take care of him until his dad, Tony Stark, comes to pick him up. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, yeah, so he he's kind of left by himself, and he doesn't really know what to do. And that's when uh, the Watcher is sitting there like, man, another sad story. What do you know? End of the universe. Oh, well. Uh, I guess there's not much I can do since I just wa 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 watch. Yeah. And that's when Ultron has his Doctor Strange moment of just like, huh? <laughs> Who is that? Who's speaking? Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he ends up finding out that there's uh, more than one universe. That there there's multiple universes. Yeah. He's on he the hunt sad, for the Watcher. He destroyed everything in his own universe except for Clint and Natasha and one Zola computer. I think those are the only like living non Ultra Vision entities. Yeah, and then he's like, wait a minute. I can just go to a different universe and break their stuff? I have purpose again. After party in the next universe. Here we go. Um,. Yeah, they he he ends up like hunting down the Watcher to kind of challenge him and mm -hmm. uh, de 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 defeat. Because in a sense, the 
Watcher is just kind of making sure nothing bad happened. I mean, she's just watching. I don't know how else to describe. Yeah, this he watches. There's one bit that's really funny where he sees that like Ultron can like turn around and see him, and it's the he's <laughs> just like just st- he's just staring through like one of his crystals or whatever, and then he just says. What the hell was that? It was so <laughs> funny to hear a Watu say hell. I didn't know that option was on the table. Welcome to hell indeed, Owatu. Uh, yeah, he's he's surprised that Ultron can see him, uh, espe- especially since he's this computer, right? I think he mentions something along the lines of like he reaches a l- level of unconsciousness or, or, or uh, of consciousness that he uh-huh. didn't know he had somehow some way we don't really know exactly what that yeah. means but yeah i think having all of those stones made him or must have made him this like nexus like yeah. being or something um cuz he gets in a fight with owatu which was really cool uh yes owatu has battle armor uh, apparently right. which was kind of wild <laughs> It's it's so anime. It really is. And, then <laughs> and I when... only watch like three animes a year. So <laughs> it stood out to me a lot. <laughs> and and when when Ultron is punching him, he punches him through universe rehearses. Yeah. So things ch- change. That was so cool. I loved that. That I think had to have been my like favorite bit of of the things every That's time he good. hit him the, yes yeah the like buildings changed the people changed it was all like similar st- st- structures and skylines but it's like here's one that's like all all wakanda here's one that's old ca- castles here's one that's yeah uh d- d- who knows and yeah and that that the, the whole fight i loved it i thought that whole fight was wild um mm-hmm. that, that, that was a a good one but yeah, you mentioned it. One of the things that is still existing out there is Armin Zola, who mm, Melissa, I know you love a good Armin Zola appearance I, I in like the MCU. Him a lot. <laughs> I I just love when a consciousness is a computer, and I love that that's his choice. Like that's like nobody cursed him. He didn't get trapped there. I as yeah. far as I remember, and I don't I don't know all the details. But I don't know his interior life, but it seems like he's like, nah, I want to be a bunch of code. I just want to be a a, a matrix, a bunch of green ones and zeros on like a CRT screen in a basement. This is my retirement plan. I don't want to be a man anymore. (laughs) Yeah, I, 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 I liked the inclusion of him a lot. I thought that was an interesting choice. Uh, The Mm. fact that, yeah, he is this computer he is this intelligence, but he's been offline, so he yeah. hasn't been infected by Ultron mm. yet. Um, yeah, and we get to see Owatu like trying to intervene, just being like, "Clint, it's in the right, the, the other box. To. Damn it, the I other box." This. I love that this is the moment that truly makes Owatu reconsider, like this might be a moment where I need to intervene. And all that really needs to happen is that Clint has to open a manila folder. (laughs) And I don't even know what He has to find the one that says Armanzola. Right. How would he intervene? Are you just going to like reach your hand through? There's just going to be like a hand that's like waving a folder at Clint. Knock it off the shelf a bit. Yeah. Right. What would this look like if you did? But instead we (laughs) just get a Watu, big mystical Watu standing there like, like he's John Hammond encouraging the dinosaur to like break out of its egg. Like, come on, you can do it. You're almost <laughs> there. Almost. But that's the thing. Like, do, how how much does he actually know about Armin Zola? Or, or uh, how much does he knows Hawkeye everything know? about everything? No. Oh, uh, the, Hawkeye. The yeah, watcher, I don't know. Yes, but right. Hawkeye, <laughs> like, would Hawkeye have no? If he had looked in that thing, would he have just like gone past? Like, I don't know who the fuck Armin Zola is, and then like move on. Yeah, I don't know if he reads, like, the other Avengers case reports. I don't know if they have, like, a briefing where after Winter Soldier, they, like, called the rest of the Avengers, like, all right, Clint, Bruce, everybody, this is what we got up to. Uh, this is our new yeah. friend, Sam. Uh, Sam's going to be around a lot now. Yeah, they, they they did certain things, right? They they did introduce him to Sam, but, like, mm. yeah, how, how much deep 
briefing goes on there, especially Did you, when, the Avengers have a slack. This is the question. Do they have a discord ch channel? Right. <laughs> We put a lot of hard work into the shows that we make, and yes, we make multiple different shows here at The Whatnots, and we'd love it if you would check them all out. You can find out more information on our website at thewhatnots.com, as well as your favorite podcasting platform of choice. When you type in The Whatnots, all of our shows will pop up right there. Just don't forget to give us a nice rating and review if you like the shows. If you want to support what we do here at The Whatnots, patreon.com slash The Whatnots is the best place to do that. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month. You can get all kinds of exclusive content at the $3 tier. You can also get a shout out and thank you on all of our shows at the $5 tier. You can support us on Twitch by subscribing to our channel at twitch.tv slash The Whatnots. And we would love to have you all join us for our live streams and talk with us in the chat. And lastly, we have merch. If you want to grab yourself a shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or something else, go to the whatnots.com slash store to pick up some merch today. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, but eventually Natasha finds it. So they install uh, the the they install Zola into an Ultron bot to have him <laughs> take over to hopefully infect Ultron. But that's when they find out that he's in another universe. Uh, right. And, and I love how they do this. It, like the code, it's not like on a USB drive. It's on like a spear or something. It's this glowing his spear USB that Clint has. USB arrows. <laughs> right! A USB arrow. Ouch. And Clint ah, has dang to, like, it. It was upside down. Ah, another one. And he's... <laughs> talking to Zola and he's like this might hurt or maybe it won't I don't know how this works <laughs> it just jams, <laughs> just it, in there. jams it in hopefully Clint it was USB -C. out yeah and he, and he has an excuse because his entire family and everyone he knows besides Natasha is dead yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was a lot of fun though but I, I did like uh, <laughs> the 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 kind of like mirrored moment, the more emotional moment where Clint yeah. is the one that d d dies and let let's I did let's appreciate go. that. It's yeah, it mirrors the whole Soul Stone moment yeah. in, in g g g game there. I liked that a lot. That was a good good scene going out yeah. with a bang. Although, yeah, although the one in Endgame is like such an act of love from Natasha to Clint, to Clint and his family, to all the Avengers, to everyone she's known. Whereas uh, in this episode, Clint's just like, I'm tired. Natasha, you just let me go. You're right. Like, <laughs> You're right. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I think that scene is still info informed by what it we, is. we know, right? Yes, like we have it, our it own. It is designed to be like a mirror to that. Yeah, but it just absolutely have, like this exact same emotional punch to it but we have our own baggage let's put it that way yeah <laughs> um yeah and then i I, th I think that's when awatu gets his butt whooped as he's trying to figure things out for a moment there i thought awatu or see that's the thing they keep calling him the watcher they don't call him awatu I, I have to point that out. They, I don't think they mm. once said his name is Owatu. So I was wondering, I was like, I I wonder if this is a different watcher. Like, what if this one dies and the one that <laughs> we just saw? This is Owatu 3. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> three. Yeah. Um, but but like the the one that we've seen in most of the show, if that is a Watu, that might help explain him being like when when he saw Ultron show up uh, in uh, party horror. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, shit. Like I like he reacted to, to that in a way to be. Uh, to, to make it seem like I thought I took care of you or I, I I'm not I wasn't expecting this. So like somehow mm -hmm. like it like he didn't necessarily seem familiar with him, but he just like he like it I was mean, he's unexpected familiar with everything. I think it's unexpected. The fact that like it could have been anybody who like walked over the horizon. It's the fact that he just didn't see 
the arrival coming. I didn't think it was like, oh, I've never I seen know, this entity. Like, I don't know who this is. It, he could be familiar, but if he is familiar, what the hell is he doing just like watching all of these these other universes maybe, and being like, let me show you this sad ones. tale over here. Like, I, Maybe like I think he knows how the story starts and he's like, I know this is this is normally heartbreaking, but maybe this is the one where it isn't. Maybe he's gone to like the last universe that starts that way. And he's like, if Clint doesn't pick up the right folder, I've got no universes left to watch. I need my shows. Where are my stories? Right. Have to get my entertainment. Uh, no, I. So my theory is that the stuff that happened in Ultron happened first. If if uh-huh. we were to lay all of these out chronologically yeah. per se, I know they're all in separate universes, but I think the stuff that happened with Ultron winning maybe happened first, and that's why yeah. he's familiar with him, which would then explain him. I mean, he watches all of this stuff anyway. But we could explain it with like, he's now watching out for certain characters he can pluck out to form some kind of Avengers team to fight him or to somehow stop him. Um, mm. So, yeah. Maybe this is oh. technically all happening at once, but certainly maybe yeah, to kind of like that's act- how time goes to like actually make this into more of a a narrative story. Yeah, maybe yeah. this happened first, but who knows? Yeah, oh, I think yeah. Next episode's gonna pull it all together because at the end of this one, uh, he goes to uh the Doctor Strange. Uh, the spooky Doctor Strange. We're well, getting he's so he's lonely. His... He's I, by I himself know. too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna a make everybody story. a cookie. <laughs> Just hold on. I'll read him. I'll, I'll read him Grey's Anatomy. I'll read him a long medical textbook about the spine. <laughs> his favorite book. Let me tell you a <laughs> tale of Doctor House. <laughs> <laughs> he only likes stories about other doctors exclusively. <laughs> Don't give him a lawyer. He doesn't care. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So he g- goes to the Doctor Strange that has been trapped in his own universe after absorbing all these monsters and demons after tr- trying after using the time stone to try and save Christine from dying. And he's just like, hey, so, <laughs> uh, Ultron, uh, has all the infinity stones, all of them. That yeah. sucks. I need your help. Uh, and, and Dr. Strange is, is like, Hey, I want you to say it. Like I, you, you you're about to break <laughs> your oath here. Like, I just, I just want you to know that you've been watching me this whole time and you could have helped. <laughs> right. Which is such such an arrogant move. That's such like old it's so school petty. Doctor I Strange. Love it. <laughs> it's I also think it's funny that like now these two are like all that each other has in the universe. They're like right. the only other entity that can see them. So like, you know, they gotta take jabs at each other. Who else is there? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I I I I, I though I in uh, in a weird way, I do kind of like the fact that he made him say it. Like, because yeah. when you think about it, like, this is a big deal for the Watcher, right? Like, he took an yeah. oath. This is what his species does throughout the universe. Like, they watch things, right? That's all they do. They, they don't intervene. So the fact that th- this Watcher is about to break that oath and intervene is a big deal Mm. and could change things like we don't necessarily know what the ramifications will be of like if he does intervene like like why did they take that that oath there like what was there an example of someone intervening in the past and that serves as like a cautionary tale of like hey we're so powerful like we should not intervene in this right here 
what, if you what say with all that? stop to somebody, your voice will just yell them over. Uh, they can't even hear you. You're too you're too cosmic, Watu. Step back. Yeah. I have, I have been wondering, like, at what point, as he gets so agitated about dare I intervene, and there's this threat of Ultron coming to like literally pummel him through a dozen galaxies and universes, is another Watcher going to show up? Like, does he have like a brother? Who's like, hey, do you need a hand? Looks like things are pretty rough over here in your corner. Or like, if he does intervene, is somebody else going to come over and like scold him? Like, who's in charge of him is what I'm wondering. Oh, no. It's a what for? Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) A what one, the prime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in that as well do we happen to know what the final one is called no one next week no no i'm i'm wondering as far as if it's I, I haven't simply heard any of these i haven't heard any of these names out. before like that wednesday morning when i look at disney plus i'm i'm wondering if this last one is simply just gonna be called what if the watcher intervenes i like that um, and uh, yeah i i think that would be really 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 neat it's simple as these things kind of are um i mean it it might also be like teamwork right yeah it might be like what if the avengers were multiversal or something i I don't know Mm -hmm. but yeah i I think what if the watcher intervenes would be a great title for that because yeah we don't necessarily know what these ramifications will be and how this will affect the live action stuff Mm-hmm. Exactly, because there there is precedent in the co- comics for Owatu to intervene. I'm not super familiar with all of that stuff, but he has been known to be like a little nudge nudge here. You know, um, there is also a Marvel event book that is a murder mystery uh, where the hey. victim is Owatu, where Owatu gets I like murdered. That. Yeah, so. Who knows? Maybe down the road, season two, the season two finale is uh, like, what if Owatu dies or, or or like who 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 killed the Watcher? Um, and if you guys are interested in checking that out, it is called Original Sin. Uh, OK, you guys can go do all of that stuff. So there you go. But nice. Melissa. Yeah. What uh, what are you hoping for in the finale here? Ah, uh, well, who who are we gonna get? We're gonna have a Watu. We're gonna have um, a, a Dark Strange, Captain mm-hmm. Carter, Party mm-hmm. Thor, uh, Star Lord T'Challa. Um, I'm not quite sure who else is gonna be added in that. Maybe like you I know, think... um, Black Panther, Killmonger. Maybe uh, yeah. uh, Scott's floating head. That'd be fun. Yeah, I, I I think we might get some odds and ends characters. I think because yeah. have we still have we seen the the of Avengers thing where it is like we see Gamora and uh, T'Challa no. and all of that stuff? No, so, we've I, not yeah, yet. We could see Gamora uh, here. On this. I we love Gamora. Could see Nebula. Yeah. Um, who knows? There we we, we could see uh, Pepper Potts. The, in an Iron Man suit. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, give I'm us rescue. Yeah. More rescue. Yeah. I wouldn't say no. I, I, yeah, would love to see that. I would love to see zombie Thanos. Yeah. Somehow. He's still out there. He's Regular still out Thanos there. got once cut revenge. in half, but zombie's still out there. Yeah. Did I, I wonder if zombie Thanos is. No. It will. Do we know? I don't know. I was going to say, like, what if Thanos, zombie Thanos got, is, got but that, that's not. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, well. Um, original. Yeah, I mean, there, there's all sorts of people we could see. I'd love to see Howard the Duck somehow fighting. Yes! Like, give me more yes! Howard the Duck. Right? Yes! Just sitting there with his martini, like, running through all the chaos, like the one dude from Jurassic World. Jimmy Just Buffett? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> literal jimmy buffett running around with two margaritas yeah yeah i yeah. would love Give to see howard, howard the duck uh, but that <laughs> howard and mrs the duck yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly um, that'd be fun that'd be fun yeah 
Other things I want to say before we wrap up. I like that we got this like probably the last time we'll ever see like Clint and Natasha together being friends. Aww. Even if it was like a bummer because his family dies and she tries to make a joke and he's like, you have to stop that. I'm not going to let you make any of this fun. I'm going to be sad over here looking through file folders. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I liked. This was a good one. Yeah. And I liked Ultron taking a, a big gobble out of a universe. Yeah. Like, very real, Galactus like. Right. I hope that's literally how he does it. He does like a literal chomp. Is that what he does in the books? I don't know. I've never kind seen of. him eat a planet. I just know that he hey. does. He like uh, con- consumes it more. I think of like absorbing it, like of that. But I don't. I don't know exactly. I would. I would like to see him uh, in, in a scene like Ed and Eddie when they have the job. Yes, breakers <laughs> inside their that. mouth. Right. <laughs> I want him to take a big, big space knife and space fork, cut it up into slices. I want to know if he has cosmic space condiments. cereal. <laughs> just a bunch of planets he's eating. <laughs> Absolutely. That's got to be a variant cover somewhere. <laughs> it has to be. Yeah. I'm excited for, for gobbling up planets. I think that'll be fun. Yeah. I, I would like to see. the last time we get to see it. I would like to see some more Spider-Man. I, 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 I don't think. Yeah. Did, did we see Spider-Man with the uh, the cloak of levitation yet? Yeah. Was he like in the Wasp zombie one? puts it on him. Doesn't she? Was in the and she's like, zombie one, you right? look good. I think so. Okay, I was going to say, maybe we could see more of him in there. But I would also... It would be nice to see him again. Yeah. I, to, 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 to be honest, I would like to see some more villains that are joining the fight. And not, not yeah. ones that are like, it's an alternate universe where they're good. No, I, I still want them to be like, these are the bad g- g- guys of still being like, you idiot, I live in this universe. Like, I want to, right. de- like... <laughs> I, I want, want it to, to be like a, a real forgettable villain. Like, this is Whiplash from the universe where, like, Whiplash is a very serious threat. <laughs> I... Yeah, like I, I, I could say that, or just like I would like to see, uh, like Hobgoblin or uh, Sandman. Man, like, give me more, like, b- bring back Mysterio. Hell yeah! Oh, bring back a, Mysterio. That'd be it's awesome. A good place for Mysterio. I do want a squad of just like uh, the, all the sea level villains. It's just Whiplash and Darren Cross. Though I don't know how the Spider-Man stuff works in animation, how like how yeah, much no clue. crossover I don't... Can, can work there, but oh well, who knows? Mm-hmm. I'm excited for the finale next week. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. I think I'm I'm hype. I was really this has been excited a fun about ride. This one, yeah, this one has been good indeed. Uh, Melissa, where can the people find you on the internet? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at WilkyWit. That's W-I-L-K-Y-W-I-T. And listen to my other podcast, Saturday Morning Obscurities. There you go. If you guys want to follow me, I'm at Yo Kyle Springer on Twitter. If you guys want to follow all of the stuff that we do here at The Whatnots, I we are at The Whatnots on Twitter. Uh, so go like, share, subscribe. You guys know the deal. It's the same no matter what multiverse you are in hit that button smash that bell you guys know the deal a uh, big shout out to all of our patreon supporters especially those at the five dollar tier and above so thank you to sam we, we Thanks, appreciate you we love you a lot thank you for not taking over the universe and wiping out all of these <laughs> suggestions uh thank you uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but with that that wraps us that wraps up our reactions to this marvel's mm-hmm. what if we'll be back next week for the finale so get excited until then bye bye <laughs>